are several cafes as you walk down the street and various shops with leather items and somehow the smell of leather and coffee go very well together and all together the smell makes you feel relaxed and comfortable there are people on the streets but it's not crowded and there aren't very many cars there are more people on bikes than there are people on cars and you think it's very funny to see the bikes weaving in between the people you continue walking and you find that you're walking down the street that has jewelry shops on either side of you and you pause to look in the windows the jewelry is not gaudy but not simple there's gold and silver and diamonds and sapphires and emeralds and pearls settings and with different styles even though they're all so beautiful it's a bit too much to look at all at once so you just keep walking and allow the sparkles and the light from the windows to simply catch the corner of your eye serve as a sort of happy, glowing ambience. When you finish walking past the jewelry shops, you see that you've come to the middle of a bridge. And it seems very strange. There is only one stretch of the bridge where you can see the water of the river. This must be a special bridge, you tell yourself. So you walk over to the edge, to the railing of the bridge. You place your forearms and your chin on your forearms. across the expanse of the river and the buildings on either side. All the buildings are similar colors, white or green or yellow or orange or pink, and they all have terracotta roof tiles. As you're looking at it, even though you know that you are in the 21st century, seeing these houses, these buildings that have been there for some time, you get that old-timey feel again. And for some reason, it is a very comfortable feeling and you just feel a happy, relaxed, warm feeling inside and it makes you smile. There are seagulls chasing each other across the river. You see one of them has gotten a piece of bread and all the rest want to do. It's quite comical, but also relaxing just watching the birds and the reflection of the birds and the water and the water and the reflection of the sky and the 
sky and how it's so blue. It's slowly starting to darken because it's late in the afternoon. But it's still a beautiful color. You move away from the edge of the bridge and continue walking. The road continues to be made of cobblestones and it feels very comfortable under your feet. People don't just walk on the sidewalks here. They walk in the streets and there's as many people in the street as bikes or cars or more. As you walk, you start to see a side street and there are vendors set up and not just normal street vendors. You realize this must be an outdoor market. You feel intrigued, so you walk down the street. There are so many street shops. It just goes on and on and on. Mostly they sell scarves or leather bags, but you see journals dresses, and wallets, and masks, and puppets, and glassware, and tapestries, and as you keep walking, the sight repeats itself, and there are people bustling up and down the street alongside you. Happy chatter all around you. And there's colors, colors everywhere in the street vendors. Colors in the bags and in the scarves and in the people and in the blue of the sky. And you just feel very happy to be where you are, with all the time in the world, to do whatever you want, whatever strikes your fancy, you can do it. You haven't a care in the world. You turn a corner and come out of the market. The smell of the coffee continues to mix with the smell of leather and you feel that you would like a cup. So you find a nice little cafe with a cozy feeling to it, with red walls and black and white checkered floors. It's small, and there's only a few people inside. And it's a bit dimly lit, but the light is so homey and yellow and golden, and you feel a happy, relaxed feeling when you walk. You order your favorite kind of coffee drink and sit back against your chair, just noticing the happy chatter and quiet peacefulness of this little cafe. The waiter brings your drink and you slowly sip at it. The warmth spreads down through your chest to your stomach, and you get an instant, comfortable, happy happiness inside you. The coffee is delicious, but more.
more than just a good taste, it's a good feeling of warmth and pleasure and relaxation and freedom. You take your time sipping at your coffee and reflecting on what you've seen so far. People come in and go out, but nobody is very loud. And the lights and the red walls give you a, a happy sort of a feeling around. stone. 